So this evening I've got um, Alison with us. We're going to do some work with SAS Seller Amp. Hi Alison. Um, so we've done a setup for you um, so you get all of your, um, all your systems in correctly and we did a control panel last time as well. This time we're going to look at something which is quite original and unique to SAS which is tags. So um, I've used tags if I'm in a shop I'll quickly scan something with the app with a view to go home and look at it in more detail in the Chrome extension. Um, and it also works if you source from different places. So uh, that's enough from me. I shall pass over to Alison who will describe it in more detail. And, and that lovely intro, and I'm going to tell you about something else first. So um, just realizing when we talked about all the different panels before, I didn't talk about the news and updates panel on the top. Ah. Um, and it's really not meant to be cumbersome. So um, essentially, anytime there's new news, launch a new feature, launch a new panel, um, this will automatically appear. In, in your account. Um, you can just, you can either minimize it by clicking on the gray bar or you can completely exit out and then it will be gone. So you won't see it next time you log in. However, when there's a new announcement that will appear again. So really That's once cool. you see it once, tidy it, you know, hide it away and you're good to go. So um, there'll also be like examples in there or more information in there if you need to link over to something else. So because Al brings out quite a few updates, doesn't he? It's, it's a very it's a constantly it evolving feature. Does right? yeah, and it's, it's not that it's new panels all the time, but new features within the panel. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, the one that we're going to look at here, he just kind of did some tweaks to a couple months ago, and right. it just makes it more user friendly. And a lot of this comes from suggestions from people like those of you that are watching this video. So. Definitely um, make the suggestions. Um, his ears are always open. You know, he wants to hear from people who are really out there in the trenches mm -hmm. doing it. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, so here we go. Um, one of the challenges early on in the development of SaaS was, okay, we've got all this capability to scan these products, look up these products. How do I find the products that I, I you yeah. know, how do I, how do I make them unique so I can go back to these wonderful buys such as a wildlife world squirrel feeder. The topic is squirrels because my dog was chasing squirrels this morning. So um, let's go to what we call the other info panel. And by the way, if you didn't know, I will always reiterate this fact. You can always hide your panels if you want to, everybody. Uh, one of the panels is called other info. And this is meant to enable you to put some customization to your search. So you can either um, reference it in the future if you need to, you can make notes to yourself, you can, um, it, it's just a good little place for you to keep info on the product that you're looking at. So um, what it, uh, what is literally yeah, easy for me to say, what's here is um, a source uh, field. Now, if you're looking something up on a website, it will automatically um, pop the source in there. So such as this page on Amazon, I actually cleared it out, my bad, sorry. Um, so, but it will actually retain that if you want to. Um, or you can you can type in your own information here. So um, we can just say that we got Sorry, so if, I, so if I'm on the Tesco site and I found and I've scanned something and I've done I've scanned it on the Chrome extension, will it know, will it tell me that's Tesco? Yes, and and oh, wow. you can I mean other other simple one is just copy the URL itself. If you've been if you've done like me and you've cleared it out, ta-da! There's your URL if you want to go specifically back to that listing. Um, but you don't have to. You know maybe this is something that you you went to your neighborhood. Um, Bob's Bird Feeders is the name of the store where I found it. Um, uh, and then uh, area for notes. So Bob gets these in monthly call to check arrival dates. Um, so any, any notes that you want to make against this product? Um, whether it be a note for somebody else that might be looking at it in the future, whether it's, you know, when you need to go check for more availability. Um, there's a million different notes you can make yeah. to yourself here. Um, so that is number one, it really making notes to yourself. It's sticky notes to put on, uh, put against this product. Like save or something. How does that not disappear? When it you... automatically saves. Oh, so okay. if I go into my history, for example, we do, we'll go back into it. And look at our other info. Ta-da! Information's still there. Magic. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's really good. And um, I put some other I put some other notes against some of these other ones here. Um, uh, you know, this is this was an observation on the offers panel. It seems that no seller se seems to have more than thirty at a time. So, is there some sort of limit on what this manufacturer is allowing people oh, to buy? So that's or... like a brain dump. 
It so really is anything. Yeah. That's really clever. It could, it could be like you said, Tesco before. Um, you know, maybe it's maybe it's a, a manager's name or something at Tesco. Um, anything that will help you either remember this product or any notes you want to put against it in the future. And again, think about when you start doing VAs and, mm -hmm. and staff members, and it just enables you to all communicate better about a product. So See, sometimes you, you might find something in three different colors and one color is really rare and sells like mm -hmm. twice as much. So that's exactly. Big, yeah, okay. That's Ex really, exactly. Really exactly. So that's, is that unique to um, SAS? I'm sure it is. This is, yeah, yeah, this is where this, this finding, going back to the information on products that you've scanned in the past is, is really something that SAS has started doing from, I mean, really been a, a, an objective from the beginning is enabling it to be easy for people to use. And, and that's really the whole goal of this is to make the product easy to use. So very logical, very um, intuitive. Um, uh, and, and similar to making the notes in the source um, field, um, one thing that came up mm, a few months ago was I'd like to, you know, you know how on an Excel spreadsheet, you can kind of tag everything and filter by those tags, shall we say. So you can create a field where you can, you know, you can, you can easily um, classify things together. Um, SAS has a way of doing that now. Um, and they're called tags, but they're here under the other info area. And essentially you can create as many tags as you want. So you can categorize your searches, essentially any product that you search. So um, there's a million different ways you can look at these tags. And let me show you how to set them up because we're talking setup here. Go into your settings. I don't want to ever use the tags, which is probably my bad because they, they're probably really, really good. <laughs> so for example, if, I, if I, my VA finds something really good that's out of stock, mm -hmm. I can create a tag saying out of stock and just, and just pin it and then know to go back. Or not pin it. Exactly. Pin it. I mean, if I look at my history, I've got, I think I'm up to like 13, 14 pages worth of products in here. It's okay. like, okay, I know it was about six months ago, so I'll start with page seven, and you end up just looking through all the pages. It's like, no, 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 no. There's a much easier way to do this. So go to your settings and look at the tags panel. Um, everybody has a default star, so you can always use the star if, you, if nothing else. Um, but beyond the star, you get to create your own tags. So um, maybe you've got a new employee that's starting or a new VA starting, and it's, you know, Tom the VA. We'll call his list. Um, Tom's gonna go out and do his own searches and, and he wants to be able to tag all of his products that he's found, that he's found, um, so he can come back to them easily. And that's exactly what tags allows you to do. I've just had so, an idea. I've just yeah. had an idea. I can implement this most in my business. So uh, when I have, I speak to my VAs, once a week I do a one hour call with each of them. And I, mm -hmm. I, I, find, I, I find two or three uh, searches that are brilliant and two or three searches that need improvement. And I normally have to copy them and paste them and do red for negative or like talking points. <laughs> exactly. This way, I could just literally tag the three each. Wow. So I could, exactly. prep, I could do this to prep for my meetings with my VAs. Exactly. You could create own wow. custom list for each of them. Um, the other thing yeah. is you can, you can have more than one tag. So you can use it to, in a situation like that, where you want to separate your VAs or your staff or whoever it might be that's sourcing. Um, you could use it for the source, you know, for example, um, Fast Track FBA or maybe OA Cheddar. Um, you know, you, you, you're getting these lists from wherever you get your lists. Um, tag all their products. It's a really easy way to go back and check the products that came from that source. And, uh, and see if it is a good buy or if it's not a good buy. Um, sales, you know, um, if, you, if you should, in this case, only, only buy it on a three for two kind of thing or only buy it when it's 50% off or if you have some certain limits on uh, certain discounts on products that you need to meet, great, tag all those. Um, maybe some, replenishment, uh, some replenishables. So check these monthly, check these quarterly, check these daily. Um, there's there's so many different ways. Um, in fact, me, Emily, a student discount, so I could tag all the websites that give me a student discount. For example, this absolutely, is literally limitless and completely personal to you. Isn't completely it? personal to you. Yep. No, nobody's aside from that star. Nobody's tags are going to be are going to be the same. So and, and nobody else can see anyone else's tags. It's all nobody can important. see anyone else's. Nope. Nope. Exactly. So um, 
you know, you can, you can, you can go to, you can go to town on this really if you want to. So, yeah. um, and so, yeah, that is really tags. Let me show you some products that I have tagged here. Um, really good. My beloved squirrels. I was going nuts on the squirrels today. No pun intended. Um, so yeah, here's a perfect example of an out of stock and this came from Fast Track FBA and oh, by the way, this is an out of stock. Um, I think so you gave me the ad. Hmm? They look slightly darker on my screen. They are when they're selected. So as you select a, as you select a list uh, or a tag, um, it just turns, turns to the color. Oh, okay. um, if, if it has not been assigned, somebody might've caught on to this before. Let me go back to the history real quick. Or sorry, go back to the I'm settings I'm using the opportunity quick. to learn, you see. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> if you create a new tag, um, we will just call this um, check if with check Wednesdays. Um, there's there. It's a slightly different color than the others because there's nothing assigned to it yet. You have no tags um, for check Wednesday yet because you just created that list. Um, you can always delete the tag if you want to. You can change the name of the tag if you want to. Easy peasy. Just click on it. And yeah, that is tags. My God, do you know how much this appeals to the people who like detail? This is like this is like heaven oh, for people great. who like being really organized. Here's a, here's a cool little feature too. Your tags show up in your history. So you, you do have a quick glance at the, at the tags on there. Oh, wow. So, and, yeah. And I can I see that what I've noticed straight away that the, the die cast isn't tagged. So I'd go, why isn't that tagged? Why hasn't it? Exactly. Been like it's very rare you're going to have a product that's not tagged. Maybe it was a gigantic dud. Um, yeah. It could be a private label you product. Could tag, you could like. tag oversize, all sorts mm. of things. Oh my gosh. You could, yeah, you can go. You can, I'm going to go tag these tags. In my <laughs> Are you going to go tagging crazy now? Yeah. And that's the problem. Like, oh, now I got to go back to my history and tag everything, right? <laughs> start, start from the beginning. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's um that's really the extent of the other info panel and uh, creating tags using tags. What so about, we just encourage everybody get familiar with it. What about mobile? So if you tag something uh, on uh, the Chrome extension, does it go over? I know we can't show mobile. It, it applies. It applies across all three all three tools. Oh, wow. So okay. so if you do it on the desktop, no problem. If you do it on the if you do it on mobile, no problem. You tag it on your phone and then show. You can it. yes. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. You okay. can you can absolutely go into just as you can on the on the extension. You can go into your settings. You can create new tags while you're out and about. And yeah, so you mentioned, uh, I know you've had some success in the past when you're flying through the store yeah. and you just want to check something later on today, create a tag for your shopping trip today and then just check them when you get home and then you can delete the tag later if, you, if you're, once you're done with it. So. That's really, really game changing. That's yeah. really good. I'm really excited. It's, Can't wait to use it. Exactly, awesome. right? Exciting so, cool. stuff. So um, if okay. they use a SaaS, um, how, is there an opportunity for them to try it before they have to... Um, sign up or is there a way yes there is a, there is a free trial available emily's going to post the link i'm pointing down because i'm assuming it will appear below somewhere. here somewhere, somewhere somewhere in the video um and yes there's a free trial um you get 42 scans to to kind of take it for a test drive and 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 really put things to use and see how you're going to optimize your your uh, your sourcing uh and then after that it'll just say hey Trial's done and it's easy, easy process just to sign up. So. And it's something like 12 pounds a month, isn't it? Which is an absolute bargain. It's 50p a day exactly. or something silly like that. Exactly, exactly. 11, 11 95 a month um, for the starter, for the starting um, package, which allows you to do a thousand scans. I think uh, that for most people that are starting, that's going to be ample. <laughs> if you need, if you need to have more users, more scans, then you can bump it up by a few pounds and pay for a little extra. So. Yeah, that's exciting. Right, brilliant. Thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. I'm looking forward to looking at what we're going to look at next week. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you.